Hello, hello. Welcome to Sleuth Slut. I'm Brenda, your Sleuth Slut extraordinaire. I read crime fiction widely and give you my feminist perspective on what I've read. This time I read Raymond Chandler's The High Window, published in 1942. This is, of course, uh, a book which features the classic hard-boiled detective Philip Marlowe. This time he takes on as a client an older lady who's very unpleasant and usually drunk uh, who suspects her daughter-in-law of having stolen a precious coin from her late husband's collection. Now if you've ever read Raymond Chandler, you know what I'm about to say. Anyone who is not a white man does not come out looking wonderful in these books and I mean to be fair uh, most of the characters are pretty shady characters and no one really comes out looking great. However, um, there are racial slurs in this and the women tend to be one of three types. You've got the showgirl type, like the daughter-in-law in this book, who is beautiful but untrustworthy, maybe like smart and conniving. You've got a very childlike character who's um, traumatized in some way, a little loopy, uh, who's pathetic. And then you've got like the client, sort of like hard old broads. In this book, I found the women characters came off a little less poorly than in The Big Chill. There's not a lot of violence. Everyone carries a gun in this book. Some Sometimes they use it. Uh, not too many people get beaten up, though notably there is uh, domestic abuse in this book and the victim is not shown much um, sympathy. The mood of this book is kind of grim, like Philip Marlowe is not the most pleasant guy. I mean, he's wisecracking, which is fun, um, but a lot of the interactions have a sort of undercurrent of tension to them. What I like about these books and why I keep reading them is the language. The way he describes 1940s LA is just delightful. Some of the dialogue is really fun to read. Despite my having a lot of reservations about this book and not ever recommending it to anyone who is not fully aware that they're going to read, you know, racial slurs and pretty stupid women, um, I will say that this is one of the best ones. The last one I read was The Big Chill and I really hated it. The plot was ridiculous. This plot holds together, comes together in the end. It's not too droopy in the middle. You know, the pace is nice. So I'm going to give it three stars, you know, with those caveats. Do you enjoy reading these kinds of classic detective noir novels? Uh, please let me know and also like, share and subscribe. And I will see you every second Wednesday for more Sleuth Slut. Merci, au revoir.